Welcome back, Flock Gang, to another episode of Sip the Tally Films Presents Ravens Roundup. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and I'm here after a Baltimore victory over the Houston Texans, 33-16. to And even though we doubled them up in points and, and looked kind of impressive out there, there was one glaring thing that all of us are worried about going to the future. It was past pro woes. And the reason I say past pro woes is because if you were in the live stream after the game, toward the end, I was looking for suggestions on what to do film on this week. And one of the uh, subs came through and he said, pass pro woes. And it just stuck out, it stuck out, stuck out, I'm sorry, like a sore thumb, sore thumb to to do that. And so I wrote it down when he said it and um, film came out and I went straight to it. So what's going to happen is we're going to show you a couple plays which won't really be the main meat of it. And then we're going to show you the sacks that we gave up. So that's what we're going to do here on our first episode of the week. Uh, Pass Pro Woes. Cue the music. All right, welcome back. And before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, First off, I want to say if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications so you can be notified when these videos drop. They won't be as random as they are in the in the spring and during draft time because I try to stick to a schedule. But please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can know when they're coming out. You won't miss them. You can join in the conversation. You can get in the, the chat box. You can get in the comments below and we, we can talk ball and talk Ravens football. All right. With that being said, um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The first three plays are just going to be pressure that we gave up. Just just look at the pressure. And so what I do is uh, kind of highlight where it's going to be, and we can kind of look at it together, talk about it a little bit, and then go from there. First one. That's what we're going to give it up at right there. And they, and they know what they were doing. Putting JJ Watt over here, and on JJ Watt may play this side the whole time. He may not, but um, Orlando is the um, I ain't gonna say he's the worst. He's the the lesser of the two tackles in pass pro. Let's watch what happens here. He's just out quick, if that's a word. Just out quick. Why he stepped inside first, I do not know. I don't know the blocking scheme, so I can't tend to. He, I, he has to have that guy. He has to have the edge because them two tight ends are going out on routes. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. This is what's going on. This is what's trying to happen. This guy right here, which I think is Ricard, is off the ball, and Andrews is on the ball. So Andrews is trying to go down. Let me take this off. Andrews is trying to go down like he's blocking and then fade out here into a route. And when he does that, that's why he crosses the face of Orlando. And so maybe Orlando's trying to fake, you know, they all trying to fake like they running that way to, to influence Watt, but it, it bites him in the butt. So follow, before you look at Orlando, follow Mark Andrews. See that mark right here? But McKinney, you know, guards him. Don't let him out clean. Then you get your pressure. Now, I don't know. Like I said, I don't... It, it's tough to tell on this one because I, did, I didn't know it was like the little sneak route at first. But still. Hollywood won no part of J.J. Watt. <laughs> Hollywood won no part of J.J. Watt. None whatsoever. Watch Hollywood right here. <laughs> he get the heck out of the way. <laughs> he don't want no pause of J.J. Watt. But still, that's it's pressure. And I know it's Watt, but still, we got to get it cleaned up. Got it cleaned up. Let's go to the next one. This next one is coming from up the good. Right there up the good. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Just holding on for dear life. Then we got somebody to come off the edge. Just holding on for dear life. Come on, Skrr. Is he, is, did the low man win? Is Are you not as healthy as you seem or what? I know it's just one play, but still. Who is one play in the series? You got that leverage on him. Drop your butt. You can't. Out leveraged. And where's the other pressure come from? You see it up the middle. Oh, release. Tight end release. So we just releasing guys free. Watch, watch Boyle right here with this guy. They, they're going to engage. Boyle's going to throw him by to go into a route, and then he's just going to go attack the quarterback. He just he got the free. He free. And it's going it's tough. I thought Bozeman had messed up initially, but it's tough for Bozeman to get there. It's tough for Bozeman to get that block. Bozeman left goal, he's trying to catch some off the edge. More pressure. More unnecessary pressure. Going to this third play. And this third play is coming from Orlando again. Orlando's right here. On White. Well, that's White there. Pure pass rush. White defends him with that arm off. And he just slide stepping. You got to stay in your kick, man. You got to stay in your kick and defeat the angle. You gotta stay in the kick as long as you can and defeat the angle. He good there, he good there. Good there. Now he's starting to slide step. If he just stayed in his kick, he would've closed that gap. Would've closed that gap. Would've closed that gap. But look how, I will say look how long white arms are. White arm is in Orlando's chest right now. Orlando gotta swat that down with the massive arms he got and get both hands on him. See, Orlando can't get both hands on him. Orlando got a hand on his his left his right shoulder, and then Orlando's right hand can't get to him because White holding him off. Instead of trying to bend that corner, so now we just sliding. I say we sliding, but really we just hanging on for dear life. That's what's going on, hanging on for dear life. All right, now those are the pressures. These are the four sacks we gave up. These are the four sacks we gave up again. Going back to Orlando. Lando on JJ. Pass him off. Kind of miscommunicate and just let one of the premier pass rushers in the NFL just go free. I don't really understand the scheme behind it. There's three guys over here, if I'm not mistaken. And JJ Watt. One of the premier edge guys, edge pass rushers, free. I just don't get it. Nah, you know, like I said, I'm not in that room, but I know that shit ain't supposed to happen. All right, this next set, I don't want to keep watching that. But we got to point it out. We got to point out the good and the bad. That's that's we ain't just here all good. It ain't all good. It's not all good. I know I use that double negative. Next one. Right there in the same spot. Orlando again. Again. In Orlando's defense. Orlando is not a top tier tackle. He's a good tackle for what we do. He's a good tackle for what we do. And I love for him to stay around a long time. But J.J. Watt is one of the best to ever do it. Keep that in mind. If this was some kind of, if this was some slap dick that was doing this to Orlando, it'd be different. This J.J. Watt. Good in his kick. I see he slapped the hand down that time. Remember, um, JJ put that arm on him. Orlando slapped it down and tried to try to get close to him. Slapped it down, but by this time, White ripped him. So White had a counter waiting on that. Orlando countered with a move, then White countered with a move. Now Orlando's out of position. This is a bad position to be in for a old lineman. His most of his body weight is over his knees, and he's like bent over. So now all he can try to do is hopefully run J.J. by. Hopefully. He's still fighting. He just got the bend on. He got the corner on. 
got the corn on. Now, and, and it wasn't even a clean rip. It was a rip enough. Because Orlando's still fighting right here. But JJ comes that left arm slap. And he's just off balance. Orlando's off balance. Sack. Next one. I think we're going to Tyree on this one. Going to our rookie. Going to our rookie right here. I think that's where we at. Yeah. Him and JK. Him and JK. Now I tell you what what they were what they were trying to do. Both Tyree and JK saw this dude bouncing inside and didn't re I don't think they realized Orlando was gonna pick him up. So both went that way. And then I, 41 uh, one of these guys came free. I'm not sure which one of these. We'll see here in a second. See this guy, this guy right here goes inside. So um Phillips passes him off to Skura. And that you know, stunts happen, so you pass them off. So with that with that happening, this guy goes to Skura and Jackson, I'm not Jackson, Phillips gets his eyes on this dude to pick him up in this gap. That's what should happen. Now, why he goes there, I do not know. I don't have a clue why he decides to pass color and let color pass his face and do that. I don't know if because JJ, he thinks JJ's stunting or I'm not really sure why he would leave a guy that's basically on his left hip to go somewhere else. And with that being said, Dobbins, I think, was going over here to this free guy too because he assumed Phillips was going to pick him up. So he just slides past both of them and gets that out QB, which was an ugly tackle. One of those tackles you, you know, you get hurt on. I think, and Stanley did get hurt on it. Pass him off and see if you, pass, you pick him up right there. If, if, if Tyree pick him up right there, we good. We good. We're good. Because if Tyree picked that guy up, Lamar, if he decides to outrun J.J. White or fakes him out. I know J.J. White is a good defender, but him and Lamar one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to take Lamar every time. All right? And for the last one, the fourth sack. We gave up four sacks to probably the most elusive guy in the NFL. That's, that ain't going to cut it Sunday. Monday. It's not going to cut it Monday. This one is on Tyree again. Take it back to the beginning. It's Tyree right here. No, nope, not there, right there. Right here. Got a double to start off with. Now it's a stunt. So Skrill is going to have to come off because it's a stunt. We just talked about this. Skrill is going to come off. Now it's one on one with 94. What are you going to do? Sink your hips. You, first of all, you're too, stop, you're too tall. You're too tall. You're too tall. Remember we, and I don't know if y'all was here with us, we did the video about, um, about Stanley versus the pass rushers. Stanley, if you look over here at Stanley, he's in pretty much that same position we watched that entire video. This guy's not in that position. Bozeman's not in that position. Orlando's almost bent straight over. Uh, you know, and right here, Skrill's coming off, so that's that's acceptable. But he needs to be in this position with with his weight up under him, controlling controlling his weight. Because he got him standing straight up off guard. Now he just, that's the same thing JJ did to him, just pushed him back. And, and this could be a attribute to him not being as strong as he's going to be. He's a rookie. He's, he's not as strong as he's going to be. He's a rookie that didn't have a full um, off season with the team at, at the castle. So that, you know, this could be just straight up strength that they're getting him with. De and I definitely believe that in JJ case, I don't know who 94 is, but in JJ Watts case, I definitely believe it's just straight up strength that he's uh, beating Tyree with. And and they did a good job of having White on this side, having this guy on this side, away from these two experienced guys. That's it. Because we know this dude, he's not the great, Orlando's not the greatest pass blocker. He, he's serviceable. This dude's a rookie. He's not 100% healthy. These two over here can can get it. And, and you got 59, who I don't know, and then you got a DB coming. And or, uh, not Orlando. Ryan is just going to abuse his DB watch. Get down there, son. He just stopped. 
That, and that's what we saw in the video when they go against Stanley. But still, this is not about not about Stanley. This is about our past past pro woes. And this is simply seven plays, three pressures that you know Lamar was had to scramble and do stuff and didn't get a sack, and then four legit sacks that. You know, we got the most elusive man in the NFL playing quarterback. We shouldn't give up four sacks and that much pressure. Shouldn't. So hopefully we get this cleaned up by Monday. And this is your first video of the week, past Pro Wolves. Uh, again, if this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, got the Patreon jumping off too. I got something for them. Got something special for them. I think I'm going to work on Patrick Queen, a Patrick Queen video from Patreon people. And... Um, I'll see you tomorrow with the next video. The next video is probably going to be on Judon for YouTube and what Judon is not doing. So I, it's it's going to look like I'm putting out two negative videos, but it's, to me, they're informational pieces. They're not just straight-up negative videos. They're informational pieces. And, um, again, I appreciate you guys for coming through, man. This is Coach Evans with Simply Tally Films. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I snuck sharing there, too. If you got some Ravens fans that not subscribed, send them on over. Slow growth, baby. We started growing, and I appreciate all of you. All of you. See you in the way and see you. Peace.